Well, eventually the FBI gets you out. Yeah. And pretty long Larry time. Hall, yeah. Larry Hall goes to trial. And because of the information you provided, he ends up losing his appeal and stays in prison. Yeah. Did he end up, I remember in the movie, they said he tried to kill himself right after that. Yeah, that's true. He did. Tried to commit suicide. Yep. And uh, to this day, he's still there in prison doing life, multiple life. Uh, what life exactly? Life without parole. Okay, so yeah. life without parole. And in the federal system, again, when you get life without parole, you're screwed, man. I mean, you are just screwed. And I've talked to U.S. Attorney Beaumont many times. I said, hey, look, we have so much information on him about other girls. We have plenty to take him to trial on other girls. Why don't you take him to trial? He goes, Jimmy, he goes, this is how they say it in the federal system. He goes, he's buried. He's done for life. He's never getting out. Why do we want to waste the emotional pain of everybody taking people through trials again, all the taxpayer money and all that, just to get him another life sentence? We've got him. He's never going anywhere. So it makes sense when he says that. I get it. You know what I mean? What he's wanting to do. But of course, the the mob out there wants more. They want more blood. So they're like, why don't they get him, take him to trial and get more? You know, I, so I agree with both sides. I, I think they should get him for more. You know, I've had cold case cops come to me and we've sat down, which is really cool, this one particular group. They got him on a, a murder case down in Indianapolis. Um, and I know that case really well. And he told me about that case too. And Indiana has the death penalty. So they had enough evidence on him that they were going to take him and get him capital murder and pull him out of the federal system and throw him in a state prison on death row. That scares Larry. That really scares him. And he's already said he would talk more if that happened. I don't know why they don't do it, though. You, you know, I mean, there's certain things that I can't find, figure out myself, you know. But uh, interesting, though, when the cold case guys called me, they said, hey, you know, we'd like you to review some videos with us. Are you opening to help us with the cold case? This is after I'm out, you know. And I said, sure, I'll, I'll come and help you. I've helped out on several other serial cases since I've been out, by the way. But I came, I sat down with these guys. They had videos of Hall's original raid at his house, right? And they go, we want you to look at the video and tell us what you see. Okay, you know, he's got an engine in the front room and the car engines tore up on newspapers, you know, hillbilly stuff, you know, and you go into his bedroom and surprisingly his closet in his bedroom is kind of big. And he's got another engine on the floor in there and it's tore up. He's got a little desk about the dresser about this high and he's got two shelves up on the walls up here with a bunch of knickknacks on all these shelves, right? I mean, just like Dodge labels and Chevy labels and all this kind of stuff, right? And these cold case guys are going, go up to that first shelf and what do you see? So I name off everything I see on the shelf. They go, okay, go up to the next shelf. What do you see up there? I name everything on the shelf. They go, look closer. What do you see? And I'll be damn, man, there was one of them Falcons sitting on the shelf. And that was pre him getting arrested. So this was something that he was doing his whole life with these Falcons. And when I brought the Falcons up to the U.S. attorney and the FBI and everybody, they're like, Falcons, what the fuck is that? You know, and they thought, you know, I don't even know how that fits in. So interesting dateline, Lester Holt, he was able to get his hands on one of the Falcons from his brother. And he, we did a dateline show about me. I don't know if you've ever seen that one or not. And on that one, they showed the Falcon. And I thought that was pretty cool. And Lester says, you know, seeing that, Jimmy, what do you think? And I said, well, you know what? This proves that everything I said about the Falcons was correct and true. Because most people were looking at me like, Falcons? I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it either. <laughs> I'm just telling you there was Falcons there, you know? <laughs> well, you end up getting released from prison because of your contribution to this case. Right. If you were, you know, based on all your conversations with Larry Hall, how many girls do you think he actually killed? Because no one really knows. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, a couple close friends have asked me that before. Nobody's ever asked me that in an interview, so it's a good question. I don't think it's the 40-something that they say. I think it's about 20, 22 in there. I mean, it's definitely a lot, you know? Yeah. I mean, because the I got 20 confessions out of him on 20 different girls, and 
let me tell you, Vlad, when he went into detail on these, there is no mistaking. You know, you can tell when you're sitting there looking in the eyes of a killer and you're up close and he's telling you something, you can tell the bullshit from the reality. You know what I mean? And when you can find little tidbits of proof that prove this, you got to remember when the FBI sent me in there, they did not tell me anything. There was no history on the background of the murders. Um, you see when Seppi's in the, the, the FBI girl, Seppi is her name. We all call her Seppi anyway, but Seppi. She says, he says, hey, I got a question about Jessica Rose. And she goes, yeah. He goes, how did he kill her? He goes, she said he was strangled. He goes, yeah, I know, but how did he strangle her? She goes, you tell me that. They left me in the dark on everything. You know, I got a basic little outline of who he was and what he did, you know, and for a living and things like that, but no details of the murders. So when I came back with the facts and told them all these, they're like, holy shit. He knows these things that nobody else could have known. Like when he took yeah. the double belts and strangled her to the tree. That's the truth. You know, how would I have known that any other way? That was stuff that was never released to the media ever, you know, mm -hmm. and he went into detail about it and why. And yes, she was crying for her mother and all that stuff. You know, I mean, look, he's a sick dude. He really is. There's no question about it. You know, and then you hear, you know, the more, uh, you know, soft-hearted people in society. Well, maybe, you know, he was just a confessor. Well, first of all, he wasn't, okay? I mean, I was there. I talked to this guy, and he was not just a confessor. But, Vlad, how many people go around confessing in detail to murders on a regular basis? Unless you're already sick in the head, you know, there's yeah. something wrong. I mean, when's the last time you convict, convicted or confessed to a murder? You know? Never. <laughs> Never. <you know? laughs> Never. No. I mean, clearly, clearly this guy did the majority of the stuff that he's being charged yeah. with, if not all no of it, if not more of it. So, you know, I'm very happy that he is where he is. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate your you contributing to keeping him there because I Thank would not you. want him, yeah. you know, walking the streets trying to go after kids. Okay. Now, I, when I do my book signings, and you'll, there'll be people lined up out in the rain, down the block, around the corner, right? And all of a sudden, I'll get a whole bunch of mothers all at once, about 10 of them all in a group. They all got my book in their hand. They're like, you know, and they come up and they're already crying by the time they can get up to the table to reach me, right? And they say, we want to thank you on behalf of all mothers out there for stopping him because our daughters could have been the next one he killed. Yeah, I can't do anything about the ones he already killed. But I could stop him from killing other ones. You know what I mean? So I'm glad you said that because uh, all law enforcement, the FBI, you know, they're great with me. The cold case people are great with me. But when I see certain articles written up, oh, he blew his cover and he didn't get the map, that map wouldn't have helped with nothing. Zero. You would have got a map and it's got an a area of woods of three or 400 miles of woods with a red dot next to it. Okay. Yeah. Have fun in those woods. You know what I mean? Oh, there's another red dot over in another state by three or 400 miles of woods. I personally don't think, I think he's been jacked up on medications for so long now. I don't even know if he could find these spots anymore. I think he's that fucked up in the head now, you know? Yeah. So, but did he do it? Without a question, without a doubt. You know I mean? There is no doubt he did it. 